Well, if you're familiar with some of my videos, a good while ago I purchased some fair price models kits. They're laser cut plywood or MDF to make some uh, period warehousing. I've got some of their other kits as well, they seem quite reasonable, but they are uh, just plain wood, so you've either got to put plastic card on them or paper, brick wrap sort of thing. They're about £10-£12 each. I've just uh, had another offer from them um, for watching some of their bits on eBay, um, some of their newer items that they've now released, so I was a bit tempted, so I have uh, another order incoming along with some other buildings from Modelux, but I was looking for some warehouses and actually modern warehousing um, but obviously to add to the uh, steam era period I'm doing as well I came across a guy selling his fair price models kits that he'd made um, this being one of them hopefully yeah the tapes got stuck to the brick wrap so now we have uh, yeah, so someone else has done the schoolboy error and put the windows on the front and not the back. <laughs> so they're sticking out the front. I kind of figured that I might have to do a little bit of reworking with these, so I'm hoping the glue is not too good so it will um, make it easy for me to take them apart and start again. Uh, because as you can see, brick paper wrap. Um, and then they've glued the windows in afterwards so you can see glue residue everywhere and uh, it's a little bit bubbly and it's been where some details have been stuck to it so I'm hoping with a sharp knife and a little bit of patience I can <laughs> take it all off <laughs> um, and start again anyway there wasn't just the one I think So yeah, it's a nice model, but for some reason they've not put the brick wrap around the edges of the building. Now, when I do these, what I'll do is put slaters or something similar over that, so it would cover this piece, and then your other sheet goes to the side. Um, so again, this is going to be reworked. Hopefully I can salvage it and get the um, brick paper off. That looks like it might come off. I think ungluing it's going to be more of a challenge depending on what the glue is. And again, they've glued the windows on the front instead of putting them in from behind. But we do, we do have a a lone waving figure, or is it a ghost? Could it be Bernard Cribbins? Um, so this is the same scenario, we've got brick paper stuck on, well that's over there, but he hasn't sanded the lugs down. So they're proud, and the windows are on the outside again. <laughs> then we've got another person in here. So yeah, we bought the three for £12, including the postage, so it was a bit of a bargain, I suppose, even though I have got to put a bit of work into um, getting them a bit more presentable. Hopefully they won't uh, cause me too much of an issue. Let's go working without any instructions on these, because I haven't got this kit, although it's all fairly straightforward when you've sort of built one. They're all pretty much the same, um, and I do like his construction method. Fair price is not the most solid box, so if you want to illuminate them, they're already sealed up, so you haven't got to worry about light bleed out of the back. Obviously, you still have to do the joints, but um, yeah, for twelve pound shipped, um, he did have special offer, but I didn't even bother sort of knocking them down or a tenner or something. So uh, we will be unpicking these in a future video. Um, I will just do a sort of, you know, bit of a blue pea. Yeah, here it is, next section. Here's what I've done so far. 
plus I'll probably need to get some more brick sheeting of some description and some roof tiles so maybe the new timber surf roof tile product might uh, come in handy in the future so yeah I've got to try and cut my way back into these to reset the windows and uh, make them good so that's it for this section So I won on auction a couple of these uh, Modlux warehouse kits. Um, you know, quite a bit less than the RRP is if you were to buy them, you know, directly as a buy it now. So they were a bit of a bargain, I guess. I've made a start on uh, this one. There's a, a layered card, pre-coloured. There's not really anything much you need to do. You build up the layers in reverse order and uh, it gives you quite a good effect, sort of a gothic y sort of look about it. There's a few more bits to add. Um, they don't come with any glazing. That's got to go on the front, which is a bit more precision to uh, get the columns in correctly. A few finer bits of details. There are some side walls. And Oops. Flat roofing sheet and a laser cut. There's these two small pieces here, which are the sort of uh, detail parts to go around the uh, the vents in the gables. So it's all gone together pretty straightforward. I don't quite know what this cutout is on the pictures, they don't show it, so whether this is another variation um, that had another building designed to uh, adjoin it, I don't know. It uh, doesn't really sort of matter, depending on where it'll end up, so uh, no biggie. Here's a few minor little marks on, uh, excuse the dog, hid underneath the table. Uh, there's a little mark there where it looks like a, the laser may have shot across the area or something. But nothing major. A little bit of uh, pencil dust will uh, hide those. Uh, instruction wise, I think if you're an experienced kit builder there won't be too much of an issue. They're in a huge greater detail. Um, you do have to sort of just, you know dry fit it a few times just to get your head around the method and once you're sort of confident everything is fit going to fit where you uh, think it should be and where it should be you start going for it they do recommend spray mount for the front piece there um, which I don't have it's rather expensive anyway um, so I will probably attach the top with PVA and uh, the columns I can just finally position I will use the old um, rocket laser kit glue that's uh, pretty effective and uh, once it's down it stays there so I think the pair cost me about £12 um, and I think the RRP on one of these kits is 18 which is this sort of larger warehouse So here's the Model X kit in its finished form as far as anything you get with a kit goes. So obviously I may look at glazing it um, just to give that reflection look if there's light on it. Uh, I shan't be detailing the interior. But uh, it all went together fairly straightforward. Uh, a sort of odd thing I found was the top roof section is actually longer than the wall so I had to trim that off so if I want to fit it flush to a back seam I had to trim that excess off and for some reason the roof details don't go all the way back either but nothing major um, the only other thing is the layered construction to give you this sort of gothic theme uh, you, you layer those uh, I think if I'd have 
done it myself, if I'd have thought about it a bit awkward to cut it accurately, I would have probably have cut these back so that this side panel would have gone up and covered those three and been behind the front one. And then you wouldn't get this uh, thick edge with no detail on it. Um, but obviously it's designed to be more focal from the front, so it's not a big thing. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, not too bad. It's all card construction. I thought it may be wood and card, but it's all card. And uh, looks okay. This is fairly delicate, this print finish. Um, I did catch one down the bottom there somehow when I had it the other way around, but I did manage to stick it back in place. Um, and the few marks I've just sort of weathered in. So I may spray it with a a varnish just to give it some more durability although once it's on the layout it's on the layout isn't it it's not gonna be subject to rough and tumbles but yeah they're not bad finale I might strengthen this internal bit here just in case over time this sags but uh, yeah we've got the longer warehouse to build um, until I know exactly how the how the project's going to go. He has got some modern image office type office uh, flat type blocks that uh, I might look at for the uh, 1980s, 90s look. There's one there that uh, sort of looks very similar to our old social security building in town so I might give them a look if uh, Santa gives me some pocket money. So here's the final warehouse a pair of kits that I got on auction. This is the other model X Victorian style warehousing. As you'll see there's a four little holes there which is uh, for the crane that would be above to take goods on sacks up into the uh, doorway there. I've opted not to build that yet because obviously this is going to go in storage in a crate so there's a fairly good chance that's going to end up broken, so I'll leave that until final assembly day. But yeah, it all went it was fairly straightforward. A bit laborious because every window and the surround, you have to glue the window onto the back piece to give you this deep arch effect, rather than it being a whole panel like this one was. Uh, all the windows were on one sheet, these are all individual. So. Every every window has to be glued to the arch back and then glued to the back of uh, the main panel. And then uh, just the reveal here on the front front face, but it's all straightforward. Again, it's you know you've got to watch you don't catch this on anything abrasive. And uh, all went together fairly well. I've just uh, run a bead of glue along there after putting the gutter in detail in and a bead down the inside just to uh, strengthen it and um, take out the slight curvature you get from it being in packaging. Well, that's the uh, gutter in detail obviously because it's laser cut the front of it is not finished it's just a normal card. So I just coloured that in with a marker pen. Same with if you m make little marks on this you can always Grab some felt tip pens and colour it in. But again, it's the same same format. Uh, I think there's a few other buildings in their range, but uh, yeah, they look quite effective. Uh, good reception on uh, putting them on Instagram and that. With a few sort of black and white photographs gives them that old uh, peaky blinder sort of look. Back in the 30s and. Uh, previous century before that so yeah I think grubbied up and a bit of dingy lighting they'll uh, look quite effective